Alright, what's up guys? LT's back, bringing you another Best Hiding Spots video for the minigame Hide and Seek on Arsenal. In today's video, we will do the spookiest map of them all, Mighty Manor. If you've never heard of this map, you're in for a treat because this is one of the best maps for this game mode. It's basically a huge spooky mansion that has several secret spots that beginner or even intermediate seekers will have no idea about. For today's video, I have 10 spots, but just as a heads up, they are in no specific order. Some may work, others may fail. It all depends on your skin and the seeker. Now before we get started, be sure to leave a like and comment the next map you want me to do down in the comment section below. Also, over on Twitch, if you think you have a better hiding spot than these 10, be sure to test them out live against me in one of my streams. I stream daily, noon eastern time. The link will be in the description. Lastly, if you want to stay up to date with what's going on with me and the community, join the Discord link also below. Now let's not waste any more time here and load up spot number one. Alright, so guys, for spot number one, many of you guys probably looked at the intro and played this map and have no idea where I was. So if we're going to do the intro spot first. Now the intro spot is down here in the basement. Now, many of you who don't know this map very well may look at this basement and think there's really nothing special down here. But if you actually come right here, look at this milk uh, box here. Look to the right. There's a secret room right here. You got to knife it out. Now, once you've knifed it out, you just jump down here. And boom, you're here. Now, you can hide in any of these corners. doesn't really matter. But especially if you have low gravity on, you could get on top of this guy. Which is not a bad spot at all. The seeker may not know, but if you don't have low gravity or the host does not have low gravity on, then just hide down below, okay? But low gravity, definitely a better spot. Alright guys, let's move on to spot number two. Alright guys, spot number two is going to be in this corner, opposite of the front gate. There's the graveyard, and there's the little pond with the fountain. Uh, so spot number two is going to be behind this purple pumpkin. Now let me show you real quick a little suggestion. Whenever I am seeking, I always search behind here. So I always kill them right here. You could definitely get up there, as long as low gravity's on. So what, one time, someone hid just right on top of the purple pumpkin, and that worked out just perfect for them. They actually came in like second place. So definitely could fool people. Depends what kind of seeker they are, so that's all on them. Also, if you had more of a purple themed skin, it would probably be better. But either way, you could hide back here. You know, like I said, a beginner or intermediate seeker might not know about this spot, so it could definitely work out. All right, guys, let's move on to spot number three. All right, guys, so spot number three is a pretty simple one. It's actually right next to spot number two here. If you walk right over here into this haystack, you can get right in. Now, this one's kind of risky. You just got to make sure you're in the middle of it, but you do totally blend in with it as long as you're right in the middle. And you can check by double tapping G. If you're on mobile, I'm not sure what button it is to emote, but as long as you emote, you can definitely see if you're invisible or not. All right, guys, let's move on to spot number four. Spot number four is also a pretty simple one. It's inside the mansion. So here is the middle of the mansion, the yellow statue. We'll use this as a reference. You're going to come over here to this big TV. I don't know why it's not on right now. Usually there's uh, some stuff on the screen, but I don't know. TV's broken today, I guess. What you're going to want to do, though, is hop right through it. Weird uh, glitch here, secret spot. You could sit right inside. Just try it. I, well, okay, so what I would recommend is get a knife that does not stick through the walls. And just try to fit yourself right into the middle. This, this slasher knife, probably not the knife to do. But, alright guys, let's get on to spot number five. Spot number five is a very sneaky one. It's in the graveyard. The front gate is straight down there. And spot number two is straight down that way. But spot number five, you could do right behind here. Now, this is a gamble. It's going to work against some people. People, people just overlook this area. They think, oh, no one could hide down here. But actually, you know, it, trust me, it works. But if you really want to be sneaky and you have a dark themed skin, you could sit right here in this tree. And like another one of these spots where if you have a knife like this, it's not going to work. So be sure to get like a butterfly knife or something smaller. 
and just sit right here in this tree. And if you have a dark theme skin, like I said, you're almost 99% invisible. You might stick out a little bit, but people are going to overlook it, guaranteed. All right, guys, let's load up spot number six. Spot number six is, uh, is a spot that can fool even the best seekers on this map. It's going to be inside, right in the middle here, at the yellow statue. Now, you hide right here in between his legs. I just give one warning here. It's got to be one big warning. You can only hide here if you're a yellow plastic skin. It's all The plastic skin, you get that by being the material guy. And you got to change the skin to, or like the texture to plastic. And as long as you're yellow, this spot right here is going to fool just about everyone. It has even fooled me. All right, guys, let's get to spot number seven here. Spot number seven is probably the sneakiest of them all. It's on the second story of the mansion here. You could either get to the second story by climbing this staircase or which I think the fastest way to get to the spot by going outside around the back. It's actually right next to the second spot we did here. There's a rope right here on the side of the building. You're going to want to climb up this rope. Now, once you're in this glass room, what you're going to want to do is come over to these oranges. And the big one in the middle here, you could actually fit into just like the haystack down there. Same idea, just get right in the middle and look down and you'll be totally invisible. Now, one uh, warning for this spot is do not have a skin that has wings or like a top hat or any kind of like, like, you know, costume that just would stick out of this. Just a nice plain costume, like even the delinquent would be perfect for this spot. But yep, let's move on to spot number eight. Spot number eight is fairly close to the orange spot. What you want to do is get on top of this glass here. That's step number one. You can do that by using this rope outside. Make sure you're like right here on the outside part so you can actually climb up. Once you're on the roof, what you're gonna wanna do is make a money jump onto this black tree over here. And you could hide just about anywhere on this tree, probably like right here. It doesn't matter which branch, but as long as you're a dark theme skin, this spot, you know, it's not a guaranteed it's gonna work, but as, I mean, if you're a dark skin, it's definitely a higher percent chance. But if you're like bright pink, like bright green, I definitely want to do it, but a dark plastic theme looking skin, that spot might win you the game right there. All right, guys, let's load up spot number nine. Spot number nine is going to be close to the tree, but instead of jumping off, it's going to be on the roof here. So what we're going to want to do here is go outside this little hole. And I'm going to turn low gravity on. Most seekers or hosts of these games, they, they will do this as well. So you'll probably have low gravity. But if not, this spot is still doable. It's just going to take a little bit longer to get up top. But I don't want to waste anyone's time here. So we're going to get up top real quick. Now, once we're up top, this works on either side. So it could work on this side if you were to jump down. Or it could work on this side over here. I will test it out on this side over here. What you're going to want to do is just jump off fall right off and then catch yourself on this balcony now when you're on this balcony we could sit right here and make sure you're crouched and looking at the ground this spot works and we'll do we'll do two spots in one here you can also jump down on this ledge and hide underneath also a very good spot all right guys let's move on to spot number 10 All right, everyone, the 10th and final spot is actually up on the roof again. What you're gonna wanna do is jump on the roof. And instead of going to the bigger roof, what you're gonna wanna do is go to this side of the roof, the little one. Now, like I said before, I'm just speeding things up by having low gravity on. Either way, you could get up here. What you're gonna wanna do is hop down to the clock tower here. Now, this is gonna be another two spots in one here. You could either hide in the back here, just like that, like right there on the edge or where I was in the thumbnail, where you're gonna wanna jump through this wall and boom, you're in this secret room. Now, any beginner or even intermediate seeker, they may have no idea about this spot and you're almost guaranteed to win, but better seekers, they'll probably know about this spot, so it depends on who you're playing with, so just be careful when you use this one. All right, guys, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, please 
leave a like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss another hide and seek video. And guys, I will see you on the next one. Adios.